Hey, Holland, this is Keaton Everett with ABC going over your pitching video. We're going to go through and, and talk a little bit about your mechanics and your delivery and kind of help you hopefully see a few things that, that you'll be able to work on. You know, pitching at, at your age, the mechanics is, you know, as much to do with mechanics as it is to do with strength, uh, balance, you know, coordination. And so it's something that, that is going to be very hard for you to physically do right now, but if if you're able to kind of focus on it, work on it a little bit, when you start getting older, get a little bit stronger, it's going to be something that's going to come a lot quicker um, than most other kids. So it's it's something that that's going to be good for you to kind of look at and just kind of see where you need to be as you get a little bit older and stronger. So um, basically, we look at you know how you start the how you start your delivery dictates so much about how you're going to finish it. You know, it, it's if you're not breaking your hands in the exact same spot, if you're not starting your hips first, you know, if you're breaking your hands late, you know, there's so much that can go on that will cause inconsistencies down the, uh, the down the rest of your delivery. So we've got to make sure that we're doing that first. So that's one thing we're going to look at it is, you know, are you balanced? Are you breaking your hands in the same spot? You know, where, how are we getting our hips in a in a good position to, to drive down the hill? Um, and then we're going to watch. You know, from that balance position, as we start down the hill, we're going to watch what are, what's our, what are our legs doing, what are our hips doing, you know, what's our arm path doing. And then we're going to freeze it right at foot strike. So right when that front foot first hits the ground, uh, that's going to, that kind of that freeze frame is going to show us a lot of, of uh, where we are with our power. You know, are we generating a lot of torque? You know, are our arms, are our angles, are we in a good position that, that looks pretty healthy? You know, are... If, it's something that will show some red flags if, if we have some extreme stuff going on. Um, and so that's a, that's a big spot to, to kind of look at. And then we're going to go through and, and look, you know, how do you deliver the ball? You know, are you driving through your back leg? Are you getting down over that front foot? And so we'll kind of go through that uh, frame by frame and, and go over a few things. So, so basically right off the bat, all right, all we want to see from the stretch is we want to make sure that we are loaded up over this backside. All right, we want our weight distributed in about 80% of that back foot, 20% on that front foot. All right, actually, I'll leave that box there. So as you start your, your motion, you can see how you lean back a little bit here. All right, we want to try to get your head in this position first. So load that, that weight on that backside. We just don't want any of that wasted momentum. All right. So just all, all it is is kind of pre-setting, pre-loading your weight. You're kind of loading it on that, that hip. You know, your, your weight's kind of going to that inside part of that knee, and it's on the inside part of that um, that leg. I'm not telling you to kind of bend your leg like that, but that's just kind of where the weight's distributed. Maybe this, this would be a little better. You know, you kind of want your, your, your hip kind of synced in, ready to go. You want that weight on that inside part of that knee. And then on that ball of your foot, all right, and that's just kind of gets you in that ready position so you don't shift backwards. Um, another thing, too, to, to help ourselves out is to kick this foot a little bit closed to that back foot. You know, if we draw a line, we don't want to see that back foot. We want that front foot to be closed off a little bit, all right? One thing, too, uh, again, we want to limit motions. You're going to see your, your glove pop outside this box, all right? We don't want any of this motion with that upper body. All right, we want our gloves just to stay locked right into our chest. All right, somewhere right around here, we don't want any movement. We don't want any postural changes. All right, we don't want to see anything going on. And what you see is you is you br bring those hands down really far, and you can start to see yourself bend. You're starting to see your posture go, and now you're bending down. All right, and really leaning back here. We want to try to see you keep yourself a little bit more upright, all right? We basically want our upper body not to change posturally or get anything too crazy um, movement-wise, all right? We just want that to lock in there, and you can see you kind of bend down, bend over, hands go down, all right? So that's just something that is causes a lot of inconsistencies, all right? Another thing, too, that we want to get is hips are the key in pitching. We want our hips to lead down the hill, and we need to drive with our hips. And again, that's a big strength issue for you. Um, but this is the height of your of your leg kick. We want to try to see the, this foot getting back over that back foot somewhere. 
All right, that just gets our hips closed off and gets us in a position to lead with our hip down the mound and not with our foot. So you can see your foot's leading, you know, your foot's out in front of that hip. We want to try to see keep that foot a little bit more dangling, just loose down to the ground, and then you're seeing that hip drive. All right, so, you, so you're getting pretty good in your legs. You know, you're driving, you have a, a sense of how those legs need to work. Now it's just a matter of, of just getting farther down the mound. So that foot strike, so that right here, this back foot starting to turn up off the ground a little bit. You're starting to get an angle right here in your knee. All right, and then you're, <coughs> and then you're going to start seeing yourself farther back over that back hip. All right, so you can see how you're, you're out a little bit in front. All right, and and all that is is just leading with your hips. We want to try to see your foot at this position. And then your upper body back at that position I kind of drew last time. So then your upper body is going to be back here, you know, somewhere like that. Um, and your hip, your basically your your you, we want our right hip to get going before that right shoulder and yours go at the same time. And that has to do so much more with your age and your strength level uh, than it does with um, you know real mechanics or something that will come a lot later when you get older and get stronger. All right. Now the biggest thing we want to look at here is your arm pass, all right, and what your front load are doing. As you can see, you, you bring your arm really far up almost to your ear, all right. This isn't a this isn't a good position to, to keep throwing from. Alright, we want to try to get our arm to fall a little bit longer past, alright? Meaning we just want we just want to have this ball just kind of swing up and around in a, in sort of a path like this. And we want to get this this hand up here as we as we're getting the foot strike. All right, we kind of we don't you're just getting that ball up above that shoulder a little too quickly uh, to your ear. You know, in this position, we probably want to see your arm probably somewhere. You know, maybe right here it hasn't quite rotated up. You know, um, we just don't like seeing these extreme angles. You know, this this elbow right in here. Um, that's just something that, that down the road will lead to some injuries. So we just want to see that arm, you know, back here somewhere. Um, and then that front elbow bend a little bit too. So that's just something to, to be aware of as well. Because you can see what it leads to, you know, when, you're, when you bring your that ball right up to your ear at that angle, what you're going to see is your elbow leading. So right here, that elbow's taking a huge amount of strain. Your, your your elbows in front of your body, whereas through release, we're going to want to try to see, you know, we don't want to see daylight between our head and our hand. You know, that, that just puts that, that stress out there for that elbow. So it's just a matter of, of you know, staying closed longer. You know, you can see you can see this, this um, left side pops open early, all right? So it's just something to, to be aware of. You know, you have a good sense of fixing your glove out here. Now it's just a matter of, of keeping that that um, this front elbow up a little bit longer, all right, and then just working on that ball path back here of, of not letting it get right next to your head. You know, it's just a matter of, of just staying through those legs, and then you're going to start seeing yourself get farther out over that front foot, so you're not releasing the ball with, with that elbow taking all that strain. You know, it's it's fine now, but as you get older, you get stronger. Um, that's something that's, that's going to keep causing problems, all right? But through release, you're finished. you got a good finish. You know, you're getting out over that front foot. So it's, now it's just a matter of just kind of getting the, getting the idea of, of sinking up that lower body. But, but the biggest thing is cleaning up how you're starting, you know. Less movements and get that ball going um, a little bit longer and farther up in the back before that foot strike, all right? We don't want to, we don't want to make, we don't want to have you getting, you know, to, to this position here and have that ball already up, all right? We want to try to see that, that ball just starting to rotate up at foot strike. So we want to try to see it a little bit longer path instead of right to that ear at this angle, all right? So anyways, hopefully you had a great time at camp. Hope you have an awesome season this year, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again with ABC.